Hello friends and welcome to another video lecture from Architects Academy Virtual Classroom. Today we are going to learn about what is meant by eccentric footing or strap footing. This could come as a question in your exam. Write a short note on eccentric footing or what is a strap footing. You can take down notes while viewing this lecture and prepare for your exams. So let us first see what is meant by an eccentric footing. So what you can see in this sketch, in the first sketch what you will see is that there is a column and the footing is extending on both sides of the center line of the column. This is a standard footing or a regular footing and this can be called as a concentric footing. In the next sketch what you are seeing is that this is a column and the footing is extending only on one side of the center line of the column. This can be called as an eccentric footing. So the eccentric footing means a footing which is only extending on one side of the center line of the column. This can be seen in this 3D sketch. This is a regular footing with a column and the footing extending symmetrically on both sides of the column. While as in the second sketch you can see that this is the column and the footing is eccentric to the column means that it is only on one side of the column. So where would you encounter such type of a footing? So in the first sketch here you are seeing buildings which are numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And these buildings, if you will see them, they are adjoining to each other without any gap in between them. These buildings will have a common plot boundary and there is no side margin left between the buildings. Such a situation can occur in the congested part of the city. Now in such a case, what will happen is that any column which is located on this particular common face of the two buildings will have to be eccentric as it cannot, that footing cannot extend on both sides, it has to be on one side of the building. Same thing can be seen here in case of a house or houses which have a common plot boundary. So you will see that any columns which are located on this common plot boundary here will require to have eccentric foundations. So let us see what happens as a result of this eccentricity. What happens is that what you are seeing here is a uh, eccentric footing. This is the adjoining property or the adjoining structure and therefore the footing required is an eccentric footing. As a result of the eccentricity what is happening is that the load which is coming on the footing is going to be prominent in this area and lesser in this area and also as a result of the load there is going to be a tendency of this particular column to tilt or to topple on this side causing a rotational motion like this. Now to prevent this type of a rotational motion or tilting you require to connect this eccentric footing to an adjoining footing by means of a beam. So that is what is shown precisely here that this is the eccentric footing for the column which is adjoining to the existing structure and this particular footing is now connected to an adjoining column here by means of a beam. This is called as a strap beam. So what does the strap beam do? It does two things. One is that it distributes the load on the eccentric footing over to the adjoining uh, regular footing so that we have a uniform loading and second thing is it it actually counters the tendency of this footing to rotate or to tilt in this direction as we had seen earlier. The same thing can be seen here in plan where you are seeing this as the column with the eccentric footing and this is a column with a regular footing and these two columns are joined together by means of a strap beam. So same thing can be seen now in the three-dimensional sketch. This is the adjoining structure 
this is the wall of the adjoining structure this is the column with the eccentric footing and this is the column with the regular footing and they are both joined together by means of a beam which is called as a strap beam i hope this explained to you what is meant by eccentric footing or strap footing if you have any queries you can write to us at architectsacademy at gmail.com if you have liked our video please give us a like and also share the video with friends please subscribe to our channel to get more videos press the bell icon to get notified about new videos thank you